hello guys welcome to the indian tech and welcome to the morse code encryption decryption so what we do here is very simple okay so first we have a dictionary for all the morse code characters okay for the characters like a has the morse code dot dash b has the morse code dash dot 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 okay so like that we have all the alphabets numbers some special characters okay some brackets so like that this dictionary will be used to encrypt and decrypt the morse code so first we have the encryption function okay so in this function what we do is we first get our message as input and the cipher cipher is the encrypted text or the morse code okay so the letter in message is the every character present in the ma uh, message okay and if that character is space we will add space in the cipher okay or if that's not the space that I mean the letter is not the space what we do is we will see what's the equivalent character in the English for that Morse code in our dictionary which is Morse code dictionary so this is it okay and yeah and we also add the space after the the uh, the characters okay so that we can know that there is a uh, other character okay so distinguish between two characters or something like that and yeah that's it for the encoding thing so let me just show you the result of that wait okay let me just encode it as well okay so this is the morse code for morse code which is m stand for a two dash o stands for three dash okay like that O stands for 3 dash, M stands for 2 dash, S stand for like 3 dots, okay, and like that. E stands for a dot, like that for entire uh, message, okay, it shows the Morse code. Now let's see into the decryption thing. what we have in the decryption is the message as a morse code okay and we will see there are two things here uh, uh, first is the side text side text is every character in the morse code and the decipher is the decoded text string okay so in the message every character in the message what we will see if there is a space or not okay and if there is a there is not any space we will add that character into our side text okay and we will see here first thing is so what we will see here is we will see what's the index of that side text in the values of our dictionary okay like let's suppose I have a dot okay as a character so we will see that this here the dot is present okay so we will see the index of this dot in the list of all the values from this Morse code dictionary okay and we will also see at that index what's the key in this Morse code dictionary so this is simply that Okay, so first we have here a uh, Morse code dictionary values that is all the Morse codes okay for the characters and and with this what we will get is the index of the given character in this values list okay and here what we this entire thing is for to see where 
what's the key at that specific index okay and this is the uh, keys of all the uh, Morse code okay that is a b c d like that and this is like dash dot or something like that okay and after that we will add that to the decipher okay we will initiate our sidetex as the empty string okay and after that we will return it if there is uh, that I mean the all the elements are passed okay so let me just run it so let's see what happens so you can see that it decoded this Morse code into a Morse code okay so let me see if we can have a uh, another Morse code something like welcome to the INTI take okay so let's have a Morse code for that let's have a Morse code okay and when I paste it here it will now show me that welcome to the Indian tech okay and uh, the main thing is here now if you want like something that dash or dot to be anything you want you can have it like if I want this dash dot to be like a wow or something like that or any encrypted character or something like that or you want to do some saltings you can do it and yeah you can have your own encryption and decryption key value pairs okay so let us see what's the most code for the this Indian tech okay so let's build it so this is the most code and that a is now wow okay instead of that dash and dots now if I do something like this it will be let me show you now okay Now it will show that indent as a decryption of this encrypted thing okay so that's it for today guys I hope you liked it you can have your own encryption decryption okay and stay tuned for the next video and until that happy coding bye, -bye.